Yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And as promised, we are diving into exceptional talent and also highlighting our successful youths on this Monday morning. Now, our next guest is a digital content creator. She goes by the name of Namkamso Puwani and is popularly known as The Real Sozo. Now, she is having fun with the world of social media. So let's welcome her to your Feel Good Breakfast show and dive straight into this great conversation. How are we doing this morning? Hi. I'm good, thanks. And how are you guys oh, doing? Fantastic. Good. good to have you. Thank you for having me. Oh, <laughs> I, I love this because you're a full-time content creator. That's and, great. and how often did your family ask you when are you getting a real job because they don't see <laughs> it as as a full time, time employment. employment yes well um i did have a real job before going full time and the thing is i started content creation while i was in my real oh, job nice. and the thing um then um while i was still doing my job well while i was still employed for, on my nine to five um I started content creation. Uh, things kind of prospered in the content creation space, and I'm sure they could also see it, that it kind of generated more money compared to the 95. nine to five. And also I was enjoying myself. So the dynamics, especially with closer moms, you know, the dynamics were not really what I expected, <laughs> but they did understand that it's something that I enjoy and also uh, kind of pays the bills. Mm. So, so it wasn't like a big deal okay. to, 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 you know, just letting them know that I'm going full time now. I don't want to do that nine to five thing. So. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm proud of you. And I'm and I'm grateful as well. And pr proud and grateful that you were able to push through that barrier because often it's the case of like, listen, this is my passion, but I want to make my parents happy and yes. I want to make sure that I don't mess up this thing called life. So let me That's just stick true. to the basics, right? And also like they didn't understand because content creation is fairly new. Yeah. So they didn't understand. Yes, you are doing content creation, but. What really is it? What? Well, yeah. Like, how, how do you make money? Like, yes, we see you trending. Yes, people are talking about you. But where does the money come? How are you in? paying the bills? Yeah. <laughs> how are you paying the bills? Yes. So I had to explain everything to them, and they did understand because they've been watching my growth within the content creation space. So. And, and you have been yes. growing incredibly so, and it's not just like one niche that you've stuck to. In That's doing true. so, mm -hmm. you're doing incredible things. You've got lip syncing, you've got battles, you've got the content creation side of things, you work with brands, you name it. Why decide to not, let's say, stick to one specific niche and maybe branch out like this? Why do you diversify so much? Okay, I, I always get this question, yeah. especially from creators, and my answer is always, it works for me. Um, ah. I don't, to be honest, I don't want to box myself. Um, I think I'm a very versatile person. Uh -huh. I want to do everything. I want to work with cars. I want to, okay, I'm not into cars like that, but I do yeah. love like modeling for cars, if I put yeah, it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to do a little get rid with me. I want to, I want to do lip syncing because I do love acting. I want to do, I want to do everything that I, I can possibly do. So yes, it works for me and it gives me a lot of brand work. Ah, I love well, that, yeah. And that's also quite exciting because yes. throughout this process, you figuring out what it is you like, what it is you perhaps that's don't true. like because yes. it will come a bit more natural to you. That's now, true. you've partnered with quite a few big brands and mm. it's been incredible, these campaigns. What do you think it is about your content, perhaps your style of content that these brands are drawn to? Um, I would say it's not necessarily the type of content that I do, but the personality. Brands look very much at personality, they look very much at engagement. And of course, because I'm very versatile, I think uh, brands kind of see that I can, I can do anything. I'm a content creator. Give me this glass of water and I will make sure that you stick your eyes on it. And <laughs> <laughs> I will make sure that you watch that me drinking that glass of water. So I think I'm very versatile. And honestly, it just works for me. And the audience that I have on my platforms is just incredible. I'm mm. not going to lie. Yes. Look, you said it yourself. You're versatile. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have an incredible audience. You garnered a beautiful community around this as well. Yes. You pretty much, like you said, can do anything you want. So. What is it that you want for your future? Because clearly you're ticking the boxes on so many things right now. Yes, What's sir. next for this uh, incredible journey that you're on? And I feel like you just scratched the surface. Where would you foresee yourself in the next few years? What do you want? 
So I've been working on a few pro projects. Um, I don't want to say much. Oh, that's so <laughs> there is something. There is something that is coming on your TV screens, so Ooh. do be on the lookout for that. And also, I want to venture more into business uh, because ish, sometimes, you know, you get your dry seasons of not getting campaigns, but I feel like getting into business would give me something that's more sustainable mm. than content creation. So I think that's the route that I want to take from here going forward in the future. Nice. Yes. But it's also beautiful <laughs> to merge your passions with a, a, a trajectory that will give you stability. And, mm. that's, and that's the beauty of being able to do it the way you're doing it now is yeah. you get to explore those avenues. That's true. Well, Nangamso is not going anywhere. She's going to stick around with us. We've got entertainment news to unpack, so stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show.